Well, you, yeah, it was a very good year for us last year, and um, we got a lot of good uh, returning players, and we got a lot of uh, good young players coming in that are that are looking forward to a real good opportunity. So, um, last year is last year. You know, it was great. Uh, you got to come in. You got to reset. You got to do everything that you did last year, and you got to do more to have the success that we did last year. And uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. so, um, and, and, and since taking over, uh, the past three seasons, you've just got better and better and better. What's the key to keep improving every season? Well, it's uh, a lot of it has to do with the, the, the players that you have here. Um, you know, uh, the guys that have left, they left a good, uh, it's kind of like a tradition thing. Um, they leave their mark. They, the younger guys, they see that and they want to duplicate it. Um, and that's what we try to do. We try to, uh, we built up our organization. Uh, we didn't spend a lot of draft picks, so we just want to keep replenishing the system, keep it healthy, and we got good players and we got good people, um, so we should be able to keep it going. And coming so close last year, what are you looking for to add to the team in this training camp? Well, we're, we're, looking, for, we're looking for everything all, all the time. Uh, uh, like I said, we have some good returning guys. We really don't know what's going to happen yet with uh, some of our NHL guys, our players that are going to NHL camps, if they're going to be back or if they won't be back. We got, you know, the import situation is kind of the same way. We really don't know. We got a couple guys here right now. So there's a lot of up in the air right now, but it's all, it's all good because all these guys are real good players. And for the younger players and the guys that aren't going to be going to the pros this season, uh, how much does it help develop their game that they get to compete with guys that, are, that could be going to the next level this year? That's what it's all about. You get your, you know, your, when, you, when you're going out against these guys, you're always, that's what you want to do and that's where you want to be. So it's a real good measuring stick to see exactly where you're at. And that's what these kids do. They go out there against, uh, you know, the Riley Heights and the guys that are going to, we got a lot of guys going to NHL camps and they're going to do their comparables against these guys because that's where they want to be someday. And then just one more, one last one for you, Coach. Uh, playing at home in Prince George and, and, and the fan base supporting you guys so much, um, how, how important is that, is that to you guys? And, uh, and what are you looking for this season from the fans? Well, it, it, you know, the same thing last year. It was, it, it, it was just a great ride and uh, the excitement coming to the games. The players see it. We feel it. Uh, um, and the other team feels it. That's, that's one of the biggest things is when you, when you come in and the other team sees that, uh, you know, all the fans are behind the team. It's a hard building to play in. That's all for me, Coach. Uh, yeah, sorry. a couple for me. Um, just about the camp. I know you mentioned it yesterday about different surprises you see that come out of this camp. I think of Josh Ravensbergen last year who who burst onto the scene. Even Wheatcroft as a 20-year-old tore it up for the camp and then had a great season. Just two t to name a few, Coach. But, again, one of the, the great things it feels like about training camp. Yeah, and that's what it's that, that's what it's all about. And, you know, in my meeting yesterday, that's what I was saying. Like, everyone comes to camp. You're all nervous. And, yeah. And, you, and, and you're trying to make the team and sometimes you think it's so far away and, and, and it really isn't. You, you got to come, you do the right things. It doesn't matter where you come from, if you're a first rounder, a walk on, a list guy or whatever. Once you get here, you're identified, you're elite player and you have a chance to make the team. And the prospects showcase tonight, you get a first time to see the 09 draft class kind of play in some game action, you know, Dade Wotherspoon and Cooper Bratton, to name a few, always an exciting one as well to, to check out here tonight. Yeah, this, this is probably in training camp, my favorite game, uh, because it's the young draft class that you've seen the, the year before, uh, haven't seen a lot of them. And then the new draft class, I haven't seen any of them really. And, you know, seen a lot on video and, and talked to them. We went through our meetings. So this is, uh, this is my most favorite game for sure. Lastly, for me, you mentioned it, the whole 20-year-old situation. You have three here right now, but still lots of unknowns, right, with guys going to NHL camp, obviously. It's just kind of a, a see and wait type of thing. But if the you know, situation does come where you have to choose, it seems like a really good problem to have. It's a it's a really good problem to have, and and you know you get you know you get tight to your players too. You don't want to you know we have a you know we have really good twenty year old players that uh, that have been very important to this organization, and 
uh, you know, you have to let the chips fall. We don't know what's going to happen yet. And I know that uh, they're all very good players with a lot of value.